Good morning, Rick from Grumpy's Diesel. Uh, this morning I want to talk about something that's getting cold out and our diesels are maybe starting a little hard and we need to understand a little bit more uh, about glow plugs, why we need glow plugs. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions about what they do, how they work, what they are, where they are. So the first one is um, what they are. It's real simple. If you can imagine a water heater element, um, that's basically what it is. You apply voltage to the outside, you ground the inside, and it glows. A and it heats up to 12, 13, 14, 1500 degrees. And a lot of people think that it heats up the fuel as it sprays in. No, that, that's where the misconception is. What it actually does is it heats up the cylinder, the metal, inside that combustion chamber so that when the fuel hit it, bang, it explodes and we get an, uh, a running engine. So this is really imperative to starting a engine, uh, getting it up to temperature as quickly as we can um, before we get too far. The, Nowadays, they're considered an emission device, and you go, emission? How could a glow plug be emission? Okay, so let's give you a scenario. So I'm going down the road, and our northern friends will understand this more than our Florida and Texas people. Um, we're going down the road, and it's 30 below zero. Well, we never get that in Florida, but let, let's say it's zero and uh, we're trucking along 60 miles an hour and all that air is cooling our engine and it's just not maintaining the temperature we need. Now the coolant's okay, uh, but our combustion chambers are getting cool. It starts smoking a little bit out of the tailpipe. That glow plug is programmed to come on as we go down the road and help maintain that cylinder temperature so we get clean burning engine. Uh, so what they've done is they've tied that to an emission control and now we have a code for a uh, circuit failure in a glow plug uh, that can turn your check engine light on. So that's how we can have a glow plug turn on a check engine light. So let's say you go uh, man, I, I'm a do-it-yourself guy. I don't have a, a scanner and uh, I go down and have the codes read. Uh, I, I have a glow plug code number six or four, whatever. Okay, so that's where I want to pick this up is what do I do next? Um, or, uh, hey, what, what's Rick, Brian, and John doing up there? Uh, they said they replaced the glow plug. I don't see anything and how do I know they did their job right? So here it is, I, I've got two engines here. Dodge people, you don't even need to listen to this. Uh, early Dodge does not use glow plugs, so uh, that's a whole nother story. So for today, we've got uh, Ford engine stuff. Uh, everybody knows we're mostly Ford, so that's what I have of an abundance of parts here. So start out with a 7.3, uh, typical 7.3 cylinder head. Uh, glow plugs are underneath the uh, underneath the valve cover okay so we have our injectors and our harness that transfers our injector uh, power and grounds and our glow plugs this one's cut up a little bit it's a old one we were going to throw away but here's our glow plug terminals and What's cool about this is that they're all on the outside. So if you look, the terminals on the outside and they're a little bit bigger. You can identify those. Those are the glow plug terminals. So if we want to check and say, I think I've got some bad glow plugs, take your, uh, on the wire harness side, take your volt ohm meter, cycle the key on, probe that, and you should get 12 volts there. 
and then of course it'll go off if the relay is working right. So on the other side, how do we check our glow plugs? How do I know that those glow plugs are okay? I don't, I don't want to do a bunch of work or spend a lot of money uh, taking valve covers off, replacing all those glow plugs if I don't have to. So we would take an ohmmeter and we would find a ground on the engine somewhere and we would connect to that terminal which this outside one would go to this cylinder, this outside one would go to this cylinder, the inside one goes to here and we're going to check the resistance across all four of them. We're looking for an ohm, uh, pretty normal. If we start seeing 54 ohms, 100 ohms or, or out, uh, um, out of limits or, or uh, uh, high resistance, then, then we know we've got a bad glow plug. Go in and replace your glow plug. My recommendation, you do all eight, or at least all four on that side. If we've, if we've got this side off, man, at least do all those four. So let's go to 6.0. Same deal. Uh, we check them uh, the same way, but on a 6.0, they're on the outside. Here's the the head and the rocker box assembly. We've got a couple injectors in there, but they are accessed through these wire terminals that plug in like so. The problem we have on a 6.0 is these things, uh, uh, O-rings get real brittle, they get hard because the exhaust is right here. And normally we destroy these when we take them off. So if you see your bill and you go, man, what? they ruined the wire harnesses, why should I have to pay for them? It, it, it's a necessity. You, you just plan on putting wire harnesses in when you do glow plugs. Once in a while we get lucky, they come out, but most of the time they get ruined. So um, here is the setup that I've set up for you uh, to take a look. And let's just, let's check a few of them. This is a job I did yesterday. Uh, I know there's a, a variety of, of uh, resistances. So if we look at that one, if we look at our ohmmeter, 3.4. And if you notice, it's going to keep going, keep going, keep going. It's going to change because it's heating up and the resistance is changing. So don't sit there forever and then finally, oh no, it's okay. Uh, the initial number is what you want to go for. Here's another one. That one's a bad one. 170 ohms. Uh, it's on its way out. We, we've got nothing left for that one. That one wasn't uh, warming the, uh, the cylinder. This one, uh, not bad. Uh, that's actually a good glow plug. But like I said, I'm, I'm not putting it back in. Uh, it's a matter of time. And then the last one, kind of so-so. So we, we, we had a uh, cold start problem. Uh, we had three, four glow plugs bad. We put all eight of them in. That, that way it starts up. So what controls all this stuff? Uh, relays. Uh, we can't run a high amperage circuit just by putting 12 volts to it f with a little wire. We've got to have relays that control the high amperage circuits. So in a 7.3, and I, I wanted to get to this, um, really important. Glow plug relay looks like a starter relay. They look similar. They uh, almost look interchangeable, you know, if you look at them. The difference is, is inside. A starter relay, uh, starter relay, sorry. Starter relay uh, puts power here, grounds through the base. And so uh, when you put power on here, it puts the high amperage to the starter. Okay, so on a glow plug, it grounds through the other terminal, through the PCM. So why is that important? If I put a starter relay in, it grounds through the base, it's going to stay on as long as the key's on because the ground is controlled by the PCM. So I've just spent a couple hundred bucks and an afternoon putting glow plugs in. 
I'm going to put a relay in too, and I go to my lo local parts store, and they go, oh, yeah, yeah, I know which relay that is. They didn't look it up, and that's what we find. They think they know what they're doing. And they go grab you a, a $11 relay off the shelf, and you stick it in, and this thing works. But the next day you go out, my batteries are weak, and it's hard to start. It has stayed on when the key was on while you were driving to and from all that first day, burnt up all your new glow plugs, and now my PCM's got problems because it overamped that circuit. I've seen it over and over and over. So when you go in there, I want a glow plug relay, not a starter relay. Make sure you say the right thing. Uh, it just, man, it could cost you thousands. The other, um, they changed them, late 7.3's uh, excursions, uh, did it a little earlier. They use an integrated module. Um, fancy up everything, uh, it costs more money, but it's computer controlled and, and, and it can, remember we, we can turn these glow plugs on when we go down the road, so that's why we need this module. Chevy does the almost identical same thing. Um, their locations are a, li a little different, but remember Dodge people, they're different. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Uh, Dodge people are different and uh, their trucks are different too. So they don't use glow plugs. So um, I know I went through it fast. There's a lot there. I just wanted to let you know kind of what that system uh, does how it works. Uh, if you've got more questions, by all means, hit me up, uh, send me a, a text. I feel bad because uh, last weekend I was out uh, painting my house. I was listening to my, my radio while I was painting. It, it's boring if you've ever done it. So I'm up on the ladder and uh, bang, I get a message. So I look at it, oh, somebody from Grumpy is sending me a message. Hey, uh, uh, I want to drop off my truck and uh, what do I do, blah, blah. Man, I, I got to do the responsible thing. I got to tell them what I'm doing. But please be patient with me. Uh, I like my time off too, and, and I'm not complaining. Uh, man, I, I love doing this. I love talking to people. But if you don't hear from me on Saturday or Sunday, uh, I might be doing something on the ladder. So just be patient with me. Somebody will answer that, that, that text back, I promise you. Uh, Brian, John, and Holly all are on there. Sometimes we'll answer you twice and, and we laugh at each other. But anyway, uh, hope you uh, learned something. Uh, again, if you need me, you know where to get me, Grumpy's Diesel. Talk to you next time.